My sweet goats, I hope you're doing real, real, real swell. Look, uh, I don't know if you remember, I made a video on Condemned. Uh, like I think, it, I think it was in January. I talked about how uh, it's a game that should be remade. It's a game that would probably trend well if it was released today. And uh, it's a shame that you know the, the series didn't do super well and didn't really survive uh, the corporate cut. You know, some corporate overlords decided you know it didn't make enough money. It didn't it didn't it didn't it didn't hit the margins they were expecting it to hit. And uh, and that's just it. You know, that was it. Over. Completely finished. But uh, I was like, yo. This, this, this game would do well. But I got to thinking, I'm like, why did Condemned fail? Why didn't people pick it up in the first place? Why did Condemned 1 warrant a sequel, but then Condemned 2 didn't? And they left it on a cliffhanger, and then we, we, you know, we pretty much lost all hope of having a Condemned 3. So it's like, why did this happen? Why did this terrible tragedy happen? Well, I recently uh, rewatched the Condemned 2 Bloodshot trailer. Now, I want you guys to understand something. When I showed this trailer to friends back in the day when it was being released, I was like, guys, this is a sick game that that that, that you know uh, that you're all gonna want to play, and I was talking about it because of the fact that I had had such a great experience with the Condemned One, which my friends didn't have. All right, so they never played a Condemned game before. I had played Condemned One, and I knew that Condemned Two was gonna be right up my alley. And I knew that if they had played Condemned One, they would also really like Condemned Two. But I also just felt like they would have appreciated the game because they like horror games. But this trailer didn't really sell them, and I had wondered. I wondered why. I was like, whatever, they're ridiculous. But then I rewatched this. I rewatched this trailer. All right, having not played Condemned in in over a, it's almost a decade now. It's been a decade since I played Condemned. Uh, and I'm watching this trailer, bro. You guys got see, you guys got we got, we're gonna watch this trailer together, okay? We're gonna watch this trailer together. I've seen plenty of bad things in this city. Nothing like this, though. Like who? Do, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to see something. We're gonna go back back a bit. Who decided on that fucking shirt? What's this shirt? Who is this character? Okay. Nothing like this, though. Her decapitated body was found earlier today at the museum. I can't tell. Look at this guy's face! Look at this guy's face. Okay, this is a time when Grand Theft Auto had just come out. Grand Theft Auto 4 looked super cinematic and stuff like that. And then they showed this guy's face. Look at this guy's face, alright? Look at this guy's face, alright? I can't. What the f is wrong with this guy's face, huh? Look at. He's got. He's got those fucking Ice Age eyes. I can't tell the difference between what's real. Oh, God. What do they do? What do they do? What is this? Look at this character. You know, they're like, by the way, this is going to be the character you're going to play as. This ugly motherfucker. Okay, no, wait, let's keep going. My head. This is cool. This is cool. All right. If you're into. Yeah, this is cool, Welcome too. To the underbelly of modern civilization. Very creepy. All right. This is chill. Fall to his knees and weep like a baby. Okay. Look at this. What is this? Who is this edgy dude? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Look at this guy's expression. My name is Ethan Thomas. I work for the Serial Crimes Unit. And the blood on my hands ain't never washing off. So edgy, bro. They said my drinking was an issue. They said I left one too many bodies in one too many alleys. But everybody in this unit knows why they really brought me back. I'm just I'm just saying right now, okay, that if I had never played Condemned before, if I never played Condemned before in my entire life, I'd have looked at this trailer and been like, "Fuck this game! I don't want to play this game. Look at it, it's shit." Let's keep going. Because the rest of these jerks are too friggin' scared. Like, who puts that in a like who puts that in a trailer? What did you like decide to put that in a trailer in a point where it look look watch 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 this, okay? Because the rest of these jerks. Okay, look, this guy just got sent through a fucking shelving unit or something like that and you, their heads clipping through one of the objects in the it's just the weirdest thing it's the weirdest thing like look look back you got to watch back and uh, watch this brought me back. watch this because the rest of these jerks why why was that even in the trailer what is why is that glitchy looking ragdoll in the trailer yeah so too freaking scared of getting killed Drop it. And that just ain't gonna get the job done. Oh my god, man. 
I'm pretty sure. I just ain't gonna get the job done. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was like five frames per second, by the way. Five FPS cutscene right here. What are we looking at? What am I looking at? What is this? Okay? What is this visual here? Who decided this was okay? Who decided this was okay? I, I, would, I would honestly blame the failure of the Condemned franchi franchise on the fact that they weren't even able to market it effectively to people who would even enjoy a horror game at the time. This game looks ugly. It looks hideous. Disgusting. When a guy like God, look at this. Look at how sh this looks. What was that? What what are these yellow things? Hold on, I want to go look at these yellow things. What are these yellow things? Oh, those are like these low polygon cubes just shot out of this fucking thing. When a guy like me is your only hope, you got a big problem. Yeah, you have a damn big problem if a guy like you is their only hope, and it just so happened that a guy like him was the only hope for this fucking game. And no one on God's green earth is gonna like the way I solve it. Well, uh, there you have it, guys. There you have it. That was the Condemned 2 Bloodshot trailer. And for those of you guys that were wondering as to why this series didn't continue, you have your answer. This trailer was Garbaggio level 9,000. I'm not even joking. This was quite possibly the worst video game trailer I have ever seen. And I didn't notice it at the time because I was just really hyped for another Condemned game because I knew how good the original one was. And like I said before, I showed this to my friends. They were like, what is this? Why would I play this game? Now you know why. And this is exactly why I feel like they, they really just didn't do well in the market. People weren't pitched on this. No one would watch this trailer and think, oh, uh, I'm going to buy this game now. Uh, this is the game that I want to buy. They didn't even include some of the best parts. They really didn't. Some of the best parts that you could have included in this trailer would have actually pitched the game way way better than the, than than whatever this was it's just it's just it's just tra tragic it really is if i wish sometimes that i had a time machine and i could go back in time with the knowledge that i have now and be like hey guys you're making a mistake condemned is going to end here if you if you release this trailer okay you need we need to we need to change things up okay uh, anyway <laughs> Anyway, guys, uh, look, I, I hope that you appreciated this video. This was just a little quick thing. I wanted to do these kinds of videos for a while. I wanted to do a little bit of a trailer analysis with you guys. I know this wasn't too, too, too deep. I just kind of wanted to give you guys the vibes that I felt while watching this and just kind of give you a little bit of analysis and look at this trailer and, and kind of like step into what they were thinking when they made it. Uh, if you feel like there's anything that I could do better with this format, feel free to go ahead and let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, of course, leave a like, hit the sub button and ding that bell icon for more content you know that you're gonna love. If you wanna see more of me regularly, feel free to drop by twitch.tv slash Mr. Bunty King where you can see me Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday, I'm, I'm live, I'm playing stuff, I'm having a good time, we're all having a good time. Until next time, I love you, bye.